yeah, I often ask students often ask me what what type of material do I, do I use, and um, the most important material is the paper, and I often use Saunders Waterford uh, in the 300 grams, but when out painting I use a, a less uh, weight paper, 180 or 190 grams. So the, the paper is the most important thing. And I see students buying uh, two sheep uh, paper and they, then uh, they can't understand why the watercolor is not as good as it should be. And I did the same mistake when I started doing watercolors. And, and yeah, that, that, that's, that's the truth of it. The paper is the most important thing, then, then the, 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 the paint, and then after that the, the brushes. So this is the, the Waterford, Saunders Waterford. Here are the, the, the arches. And I usually do on, on grain torchon. It, it's more, uh, you can do a lot of uh, good things when, when the paper is, is not as smooth as uh, it's not not so smooth, so so that, that's that's really good thing to to do. The next thing, as I ask, is is, is um, the paint and and the palette. The palette is is where everything happens actually. So on on the palette, you see the the color. You see the coal, the, the warmth, the consistence of it. And I have tubes where I pour out the paint on, on, on these um, things. And I don't do have much paint. I, I, I have a, I have some some black here. I'm seldom use. Here I have an indigo. I have a, a ultramarine blue. Uh, here we have cobalt, sepia, and uh, we have some brownish. I think this is uh, uh, burnt sienna. I have a few greens. Uh, this is sap green. I think that that's undersea green from. I think it's Daniel Smith. Wonderful color. Alcine Crimson, a red, pure orange, uh, some earth colors. I think this is okra, Naples yellow. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much what, what, what I'm using. I, you, you have to have a cool yellow and, and a warm yellow. This is cool yellow and warm yellow. You have a warm red and a cool red. And a warm blue and a cool blue. As you see here, it, it's arranged in, in some sort of the cool things in, in this area, and then we have the warm colors in, in that area. So that's how I, I arranged my, my palette. Going on with the, with, uh, the brushes, and um, you always have too, too many, if, yeah. uh, but for me, it, it's, I have three major brushes or yeah th for them that I, I used to work with different sizes this is a mop uh, and, and then you do the washes the, the big washes and, and that that's if it, it can take a lot of water and then then I used to have a, a pointed one uh, this has always a, a good point and it will always come back to, to the, the, the best point you, you ever can have. And then I use a, a rigger and this is the, the, the rigger I use. It can hold a lot of water and it's also really pointed. Good for branches and, and the sails, rigs and, and these things. And sometimes I use my flat one for buildings and for um, yeah 
doing reflections. So actually this is the four types of brushes I use. I have a, a bigger mop uh, and, and uh, a bigger rigger here. And have some some special brushes as well, as you have seen. This is the, the, the brush that I used to have to paint my house with. But it, it's good also for reflections. It don't hold so much water, so that, that that's yeah perfect. And and also yeah, we have a look at this one. It's a acrylic brush where. I, torn away some of the, of, of the of the hair on them yeah a, a toothbrush yeah some other riggers so that that's the basic thing i i used to have w with me and then out painting plein air uh, you need some other stuff as well and and that's you need a a good easel in a way and, and, and what I have figured out over the years is, is this is a camera easel and, and, and going around w w with this it's rather heavy but this is a coal fiber it weighs under a kilo and it's it's really good you, you can you can put it like like, like this uh, you can stand up also and it's always a problem to to fit the the, the paper on, on on these things this is a standard um, thing to, to fit so so what, what i'm done actually is to have glued um, yeah it, it's a piece of of wood that is uh, shaped so it fits into to this one so you just can can slide it in like, like this and you slide it in and and you just fix it and then you have the, the that on 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 your easel um, the the thing is when out painting you you, you shouldn't bring too much things too much heavy things so just this over the year has been my my friend and i think i have some on that, that too there. this is the in, in in plexi plexiglass and this is in in, in wood so that's uh, my thing uh, it's good when when you're out play, doing plein air go out and, and, and test things and, and come home and, and, and get rid of all the things that you don't use don't use but when you are painting so so that's what, what I've been done done for all the years first time I have too much things with me now everything fits in a, in a in a small bag and I can be out painting so yeah thank you